Shalom and welcome back. I'm Rabbi Eric Tokager, and our question for today comes from Eric. And Eric's question is, Rabbi, who is Israel? This is a difficult question and yet an easy question to answer. First of all, it's not a single question. Israel is and always has been a group of people that began with Abraham and follows up through today. And we identify those people in many ways. The Hebrew people, the children of Israel, the Israelites, and ultimately the Jewish people. Now that's one very simple answer to the question. The other side of the question is that Israel has never only been just Jewish people. Abraham and Sarah were not born Jewish or born Hebrew. They were from the land of Ur in the Chaldean region and God called Abraham and he traveled to the promised land. And Abraham and Sarah became the first Ivri, the first Hebrew people the word Ivri means to cross over, and they crossed over to God's side of the, of the table. So now we have Abraham and Sarah as the first Hebrew people. They have a child. Their child's name is Isaac. Isaac needs a bride, so where does he go? He goes back across. Actually, Abraham sells a laser back across to get a bride for Isaac, who then comes back across the line and becomes a Ivri, or someone who's crossed over. They have children. They also marry people from the other side who come back across to them. Ultimately, we have the children of Jacob who marry some of them Hebrews, some of them uh, Gentiles or people from over the line, the nations. And then when Israel finally comes out of Egypt, a mixed multitude come out with them. And all of Israel, both the Hebrew or Israelite or Jewish people and the non-Jewish people with them stood around the mountain and God spoke the words from the mountain, the first ten sayings, and then after that the people say to Moses, God scaring us, you go talk to him, let him talk to you, and you talk to us, and the rest of the Torah is given through Moses to both Jew and non-Jew. Ultimately, Israel travels for 40 years in the wilderness. When they finally get to the promised land, they're led into the promised land by Joshua, a Jew, and Caleb, or Caleb, a Kenizzite, one Jew, one non-Jew, who together were part of Israel. Paul, in the Brit Kadashar, the New Covenant writing, speaks about Gentiles as being a group of people, Gentile believers as being a group of people who were once far off, but now have become part of the commonwealth of Israel. That does not make Gentiles Jewish. It does make Gentiles grafted into the body that God has called out this group of people that become people that cross over to God's side of the scale. And so, who is Israel? It is the Jewish people. But beyond that, Israel is made up of the commonwealth of Israel, both the natural branches and the grafted in branches, serving God in unity and fulfilling the prayer that Yeshua prayed, that we would be one as he and the Father are one. Thank you for tuning in. If you have a question, as Eric did, I hope that you'll message me on Facebook at Rabbi Eric Tokacher. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you next time.